Hey Libra, how you doing today? Just gonna do a quick tarot check-in for you, see what's going on energetically um, for the now moment. This is daily check-in. This is just, you know, basically good for uh, roughly the next 24 to 48 hours from the time you click on the video. Let's just see what's going on for Libra right now. Spirit, please connect me with the energy of Libra. Please raise my vibration to harmony with Jen, Shen, Ren. Which is truth, compassion, and loosely translated forbearance. Spirit, please bring forth the most clear, concise, accurate messages for our Libra collective for their highest and greatest unfoldment and the highest and greatest good of all involved. And so it is. So what's the overall theme for what Libra is dealing with right now? Wow. Hey, that's pretty amazing. Um, that's 10 of cups. That's ultimate emotional satisfaction and happiness. I mean, the sun is beaming down on this lovely couple sitting on a park bench, holding hands. They are so smitten with each other. They are so happy to be just in each other's presence in the light of the sun. And hey, way to go, Libra. Happy for you. That's beautiful stuff. Spirit, what else can we say about this? What more can we say about this Ten of Cups energy for Libra? What more can we say about this Ten of Cups that's going on for Libra right now? Spirit. A Knight of the Wands. Dashing, debonair, good looking. That's, that's the dashing part. And uh, charismatic and uh, passionate. Did I mention passionate? Oh yeah. Carrying that big wand around or looking for that big wand. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, don't, don't read into that part. Um, anyway, that's sometimes seen as the player card, but you know, not all players you know, are about the game. Just saying. Spirit, what more can we say about this Ten of Cups energy with uh, the Knight of Wands, that passion, and the Four of Wands? What is going on, Libra? This is that, um, you know, the four pillars, the four corners of the room, um, the stable, passionate connection. This is about taking that passionate, hot and fiery, steamy connection and actually making it stabilized and building upon that. This um, is often seen as the marriage card. I see it as the wedding card. This is the celebration of the connection. Whoo, wow, this is a love reading. I didn't know that, cool, nice. Thank you, Spirit. I don't I don't typically do, I mean, I mean, for some Libras out there, this could have to do with their workplace, you know, like with a new, passions happening and they are so emotionally satisfied by their job that's fantastic good for you this looks like a love reading to me anyway moving forward spirit what are the energies that are coming towards our libra collective in this now moment what are the you know what are coming toward them in support of this ten of cups of this four of wands with this knight of wands which by the way the knight of wands i typically see as a card of sagittarius but it could be any of the fire signs or just someone operating from that fiery passionate energy um spirit what more do we have to say here about you know what's supporting them like what's what's coming towards them in support of this the emperor big boss energy Okay, you got some big boss energy coming up here, Libra. Coming towards you in support of this. What else is coming towards our Libras in support of this Ten of Cups energy spirit? What, what, what is this? What's going on here? Hey now, decisions have to be made. Okay, someone made a decision and they're coming forward towards you, Libra. Or maybe you've made the decision and you're like, yep, that's it. I'm going towards my Ten of Cups. He, she's right over they, them, I don't know, are right over there, and this is happening. 
What else we got there, Spirit, about what's coming towards our Libras in support of this whole scenario? Okay. A Knight of the Cups. Could be a water sign. Charmer. Lover type energy. So we got more of very romantic type energy is what I'm trying to say. Doesn't have to be another person. Could be. I don't know how you guys play the game. It's up to you. Um, you know. You know, Polly want a cracker? I don't <laughs> I don't know, man. This is a modern era. It's a modern, it's a new day. Whatever works. As long as you're honest and fair about it. You know what I mean? Spirit, what else can we say? Oh, wait. No, we've already done that whole what's coming towards you guys action. Because we've got the two of... We have an emperor, a two of swords, and a knight of cups. So you may have an option or a choice to be making here. Okay, because that is two people cards. And there's a choice in between them as it came out, so... Yeah. Either way, it seems to lead to your Ten of Cups. So, Libra. You got it going on Bossa Nova style. Why'd I say that? That was so corny. I wish I hadn't... Too bad I don't edit these videos, because if I did, I would totally edit that one out. But I don't. So I won't. No. Ah... <sighs> Spirit, what are the potential crossing energies here? Is there a challenge point for Libra in this? Or is this all just going to go off like swimmingly smooth? The lovers. Now the lovers are out. Okay. Needing to choose from love instead of from fear. So on that decision point, um, when it comes for you to make that decision... Make sure you check in with your heart. Make sure you really, in your, in your mind, say, I choose this. And see how your body responds. See how your heart space. Does it lift up? Does it feel light and bright from that? Oh man, that feels amazing. Yeah, we're doing that. Or does it, ooh. Or, or is there a little darkness to it? A little tinge of, uh, well, if I don't decide this, I'm going to lose that. That's fear-based. And the lovers is about choosing from love instead of from fear. Just, just putting that out there. Just putting that out there. I know I mumble and it doesn't always translate and then some people get annoyed. So, Spirit, what else can we say about this lover's energy as a potential conflict? Four of Swords. Um, someone may not want to engage in communication because they're taking a break from the situation. They're taking a break from conflict. Or what they perceive could lead to conflict. Anything else, Spirit, that we, we want to let the Libras know about in advance before they you know, have to make these choices and do these things? There could be some incoming communications. Um, that could potentially be challenging for you. There could be some fast-moving incoming communication. Spirit, what is Spirit doing behind the scenes, off the stage, to uh, support our Libras in this Ten of Cups energy? The Hermit. Could be a Virgo. Could be... Reminding you of wisdom you gained during a hermitage of your own. What else is spirit doing behind the scenes? The Empress. It's one of your cards here, Libra. She's ruled by Venus. She's magnetic. She's beautiful. She's abundant. She's fertile. She's one of your energies. And we already have the Emperor out. So now we have the Emperor and the Empress out. We have a divine pairing on the table. Spirit, what advice do you have for our Libra Collective in this beautiful moment, this Ten of Cups loving moment? Move on to calmer waters from something. Leaving the past in the past. Don't drag the past forward with you. Open fully to this now moment. Letting go what no longer serves. 
letting go what no longer is. You know, if you know any mindfulness techniques, give those a shot. There's a lot of videos here on YouTube, you know, for mindfulness meditations to help bring you back into the present moment. Returning to the breath is my usual trick. Um, but there's, there's a lot of mindfulness meditations out there that you may want to, if you don't have a practice yet, pick one up. Spirit, any other advice here for the Libras? And just because I have a practice doesn't mean I'm able to do it all the time, trust me. Uh, I'm just saying, it, it, it can be a challenge when the uh, challenges are deep. Six of Cups. You have Six of Swords and Six of Cups. Both are about, one's about moving away from the past, and one is hanging on to the sweet feelings of the past. Nostalgia. So maintaining the loving sensations of the past, but letting go of any past conflicts would serve you well. And again, all the advice has to do with walking away from the past pains, the past sufferings, and fully being present with the now moment. Okay, Libra, that's what I have for you. I actually wasn't even going to do any readings today because uh, I already got the weeklies out. Um, however, I was... I went to do visit a job site, give some recommendations, stopped and got lunch on the way back, pulled into the parking lot, and was like, let me get out of the car now. And Spirit's like, no, you're not. Well, and I just you do a little reading for Libra. So there it is. Some Libra out there needed to hear these messages, and I hope that you do. I hope that they find you well and healthy. Um, please drink lots of water. Um, Hug your loved ones and have a beautiful day. From my heart to yours, I'm sending you love and I'm sending you peace. Thanks for stopping by, Libra. I love you.